Hey guys, it's Harry Scott Feather, and I wanted to get to you guys on my one week postpartum update. Like, what's going on? And since I had a C section this time, I just thought that would be interesting to see because I've looked at some C section videos. Just wanted to see like what others were supposed to look like and like in the future and stuff like that, like how it's going to heal and everything. And so I thought, well, I really want to share that to show you guys what it looks like and everything. Um, so I feel like mine looks different. Like a lot of them that I looked at looked like they had like line stitches, like little lines this way. But mine is just like one strip. And so, and it doesn't have, I don't have anything over it or nothing like that. So they just said, as long as I'm keeping it clean, when I take a shower, just make sure that I pat it dry really good. I can use the hair dryer on it to be, to make it dry really good. And I go on my, I go to my two week, I'm in here soon. And so we'll see, cause you gotta go two weeks and then six weeks for a C-section. I don't even know that. So I'll give you an update on how that went and how hopefully they're saying that's healing good. Cause I've heard stories of like where it got infected and stuff. And it was just like really bad. So I'm just like hoping and praying that mine heals good and smoothly and that it has been a longer recovery. Definitely. I know what a lot of people would say that it's, a longer recovery and stuff like that and how hard it is is I didn't realize how hard it was until actually going through it so it's just so crazy because I had three girls three different hospitals three different ways it's like crazy they all have to be so different so I had kids with epidural and but it was still really hard I felt like by the end it wasn't even like I pushed forever and it was just like just took a lot longer process then Claire's was so quick no epidural the perfect delivery, everything. If I could have babies every day that way, I would. So easy, I got up, went to the bathroom right after and felt great afterwards and it was not a long recovery at all. Then the C-section, I would say, was really hard. The first couple of days were like just so hard and then three and four days was better. And then by then I was in the NICU room with her and then I was able to get up and down pretty easily. And ever since then, I feel like it's been a pretty smooth recovery um, now that it's been a week and now that we're at home and everything. But every once in a while, I feel like I still feel some, just like, it's like some soreness and stuff like that. So I might just take ibuprofen if I feel like I'm feeling sore and just need a little something. Um, I was taking medicine there when I was there for the four days um, and that really helped. It just made me like really sleepy. So it was just nice to just take little naps and stuff like that. And then I had to pump. I'm not used to pumping normally. I would just breastfeed baby in the room with me and with her in the NICU for that week, I had to pump a lot. So, and then when I was in the room with her, then I was breastfeeding and pumping and all that. So I do wanna talk about things that I needed for the hospital for my C-section that I didn't have and thankfully my cousin brought. So I'm gonna do a hospital bag and hopefully that will help you guys out too in the baby bag just because I didn't get to, get to those since she came so early and I wasn't prepared but I want you guys to be prepared if you see the video and know what you need and all that so the postpartum I'm now 117 which we'll see when I go to the doctor in a couple of days exactly how much I weigh but I started out at 112 got all the way up to about 140 which I weighed the same at 140 as I did with Claire when I had her at her due date so I really, like looking back at things, I really think they had my due date off, like for real. She came a whole month early. I feel like I was like, probably missed a cycle in there somewhere because when I did the ultrasound with Camry, they just said, oh, okay, when was your last period? And I told them, they said, okay, that's good. She's about eight weeks. But like, didn't actually say from the measurements of the ultrasound or anything. And then when we did her gender reveal, they were saying how big and chunky she was already. Like I told you guys, they commented on that. Then just the whole pregnancy, I felt like I was just way bigger. Like just got really big, really fast. And I was just like, and at the beginning I was like, am I having twins? And I just like showed so fast. And I was like, no, it's just my third pregnancy and all that kind of stuff. And also with having gestational diabetes, like the whole pregnancy, with Camry, I watched what I ate. I didn't drink a lot of tea. I didn't have any sweets. I, once they did tell me I did have it, I was really, you know, watching what I ate. I worked out through the whole pregnancy. So I was like, I really did not think she was getting that big. I tried so hard. And for her to be at 34 weeks to be six pounds, seven ounces, that's crazy. That's like, if she came in her, I feel like that's, 
what she would have ate if she came to her due date and I was full turn with her. So, okay, Molly's getting a haircut in um, like two days. She was supposed to get it, obviously, before Cameron got here. I was scheduling all this stuff before Cameron got here. I was scheduling to get her Molly a haircut. I was scheduling to get um, picture, pictures made, do my shower, like all this stuff this last month of my pregnancy. And then to think she just came so, so quickly and so fast. And it was just like, ah. I'm going to do a labor and delivery story too because I want to tell like my story of it and everything. Oh uh, yeah, I'm going to show you my belly band when I show you my belly. As far as bleeding, it's been a lot less this time. Like it's not hardly been anything, but it's just a little bit. It hasn't like stopped. It gradually stopped. It's just been a little bit along the way. I'm going to go back to work in two. It's been a week now. I got two more weeks out. Then I'm going to go back so I've got I mean, not really busy that week, but I'm just kind of slowly going to start going back already because I had some regulars that I want to get to. They're just my regulars, so they're going to be fun with Camry. Camry's going to come with me like I did with the girls for probably about another month or so. I'm just going to bring it with me and just not be, like, really busy. Normally, I have, like, two colors together, but I'm just going to have a color by itself, and that way, if she needs to eat while the color's processing or in between clients, then I'll be able to feed her and all that. So, um, but Daddy is going to come with me on Fridays and Saturdays. So I'm going to be a little bit busier those days just because I know Joel will be there to help me and everything. Um, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm going to only work probably two of those days. Still take off another day. Um, or just at however it works out. I don't know yet exactly how my schedule is going to go. One thing that is like so amazing and crazy is the swelling in my feet. I'm going to show you before and after of my swelling in my ankles and my feet and my legs were so swollen and then now I look like I probably weighed at least over 200 pounds if you looked at my ankles. <laughs> Since uh, pregnancy of her ankles and I can see her feet, feet yeah. I look so skinny now. That is too funny. It looks like and they're so swollen but I Change. <laughs> Since uh, pregnancy of her ankles. And then now to think what they look like afterwards. It's just a week based partum. And I feel like I look like I probably weigh like 90 pounds. If you look at my ankles, they look like skeleton legs. So I'm going to show you those videos. It's so crazy. And breastfeeding is going really good. Um, I'll talk more about what I needed at the hospital or anything breastfeeding. But mostly I have like my, and I want to do a breastfeeding video because I have so much breastfeeding stuff this time and nursing stuff that I wanted to be so prepared because I want to try to do this as long as I can if I can the year. And my goal is that at least three months would be longer than Kinsley and Claire. Um, but if I could go like six months, if I could, I feel like if I could make it to six months where she start eating some baby food and breastfeeding, I feel like that would be a home run. I could do it for the year. But you never know. So I'm going to do a video on all my breastfeeding stuff, like what I needed and what I've been using. But as far as breastfeeding, it's going really good. And I was already pumping and breastfeeding at the hospital. I had a lot of time to pump. Also, so I got a lot stored up already, which is awesome for when I do go back to work. And she is here with my grandma, and she's about two months probably going to be transitioned for that. And it'll be time for holidays, so we'll be getting busier at the salon then, too. And I'm a little just not too worried, but just kind of worried about getting because I am just so busy at the salon now that I was like Kinsley, I wasn't that busy. Claire, I was really busy, but I was still able to take off some good time, and it went really good. Now, now. I feel like I'm just like, normally when I'm at the salon working, I'm like so, so busy. I'm just like booked back to back, every, trying to get everybody in. And so I'm a little like, ah, I just feel like when I get back to work, it's going to be hard to juggle with obviously having Gensley Claire too and Camry and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, I know it'll work out. God has it in his plans and it's all gonna work out great. And it's also, I'm just glad that I should be very thankful and I am very thankful that she can come to work with me um, here at the beginning or whenever. So that's awesome coming to salon and stuff. And our business is gonna be, once we get there, then Joel will always be there and it'll be easier too. But yeah, it's just so crazy. I'm gonna go through this all over again, but it's awesome too. So I'll show y'all my belly now. And hey guys, so I wanted to show y'all what I'm looking like and I wanted to show y'all my belly band. This is my belly band that I've been wearing. And I just kind of wear it over my, under my um, stuff here. So, and these are my big bannies that I wear. I'm gonna tell y'all about those in my video. What I'll, okay, so this is what my belly's looking like now. One week 
And I feel like it looks awesome since I kept up with my workouts the whole time. So I'm really like excited. I think it looks really good. I still obviously need some work being done there. Um, now let's see if I can chill. I don't want to have it like too low, but um, but that is what it's looking like right now. I think there's like some glue over it, but it's just that's it. So hopefully that's healing really good. I go to the doctor soon to check it out. But yeah, obviously my belly's really flabby now again. I have to work on it and get those abs back and all. So that's what it's looking like. Thank y'all so much for watching. Take care. Hope y'all have a great day. We'll see you guys soon. Check out our daily vlogs and our other mother videos coming up soon. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.